Welcome to Excel 2010 Statistics video number 67. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 210 Chapter 7, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet Simple Random Sample 3. Now, in our last video, we saw how to do a simple random sample using RAND function and sort and then copy and paste. Here, we want to take from our population data a, and extract a sample with no repeats, meaning we don't want to have the formula extract Gretchen Hill twice. Um, we want to do it with formulas and have it done automatically. Now, we're going to do the same thing. Here's our data set. We're going to add a new column to the left. This is a unique identifier that uh, identifies each individual employees. But to the left here, we're just going to do, just like last video, add a RAND. Now, RAND function is great. It generates a random number between 0 and 1. And it's a uniform probability distribution, which means each number has the same probability of occurring. I'm going to enter that and then double click and send it down. Now, last video, we sorted, brought the five smallest ones to the top, and then copied and pasted. So we're going to have to simulate that in a formula. Now, there's something. In fact, um, let's scroll over here. We're going to use, in essence, with our formula, we're going to extract the five smallest numbers and then whatever five smallest records are associated with those. Now, before we can use that, we're going to actually use the small function, which is great. But we have to figure out how to increment a number. Because inside my formula here, I need to ha have the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because the small function is great. Small, well, you, you just say, hey, give me the first smallest, second smallest, third smallest. But that's the K there. We need to have a 1, 2, 3, 4 as we copy our formula down. So the way we increment a number inside of a formula is we use the rows function. The rows function is great. It tells you from a range how many rows there are. Well, what if we did this? G dollar sign 4 colon G4. Well, right now it says from row 4 to row 4. How many rows is that? 1. Notice this row reference is locked with our dollar sign for cell reference locked row reference. This one's not. So as we copy this down, this is going to remain 4. This is going to move to 5, 6, 7. Clever way of incrementing a number. Now it's easy. We put that little bit right there into the small function. And the array, that's simply all the values. We want to take the five smallest, F4 to lock it, because as we copy down, we need it locked, comma, and there's our K. Control Enter, and then drag it down. So this is much different than the last video where we uh, you know, sort and then copy and paste. This is automatically looking through this and, and pulling out the five smallest. Now we can use the VLOOKUP function. It'll look up the smallest and then extract the record. Now how does VLOOKUP work? VLOOKUP is great. It's a vertical lookup. Notice our column of randomized numbers is orientated vertically. We tell the, the VLOOKUP, hey, look up this value right here. Now as we copy this down, I need the dancing ants to move. But this formula has got to be copied this way and be locked on that number. So I'm going to hit the F4 key three times, lock the column, but not the row. Comma. The table array, that's the table with the random number is in the first column and the rest of the data. Do not include those field names at the top. Now you've got to hit the F4 key. That's going to be locked in all directions. Now comma, column index. Well, column index, you tell the VLOOKUP which column has the data. Well, the very first one is column 1, 2, because this is our table, and then 3, 4, 5. So guess what? Here we want, in our formula, a 2. But when we copy it over to the first column, we want a 3. So no problem. Instead of rows, what do we use? We use columns. And here I'm sitting in cell H4. So I'm going to type dollar sign $H to lock the column, colon H4. That increments 4, that this columns, as opposed to the rows we used over here, columns increments a number as you go horizontally. Rows increments a number as you go vertically. Now, this is not correct. I want that. There we go. And then comma, our lookup range, we're going to do exact match, because we want to find exactly that value. 
right? And then that'll work. That'll extract. Oh, uh, well, let's just copy this over and see what we did wrong. We got the first, second, third columns extracted instead of two, three, four, five. No problem. I'm going to add one to this. Now, actually, here, since this is always going to be here, we could change it from H. We could change it to G. Now it has G4 oh, to H4. How many columns are there between G and H? There's two. All right, Control Enter, and now this will work. And then copy it down. All right, so now this is dynamic, right? As you hit the F9 key, it extracts a new uh, record each time. Now let's go do this one more time, but all together in one formula. And then um, over here on S, simple random sample 4. Same thing here. This, this data set control down arrow has 10,000, and we want 30, right? So I'm going to say equals RAND. We'll do this in high speed. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Now it looks like there's only two digits, but that's number formatting. There's really 15 digits under there. All right, all in one formula. We're going to do VLOOKUP. What do we want to look up? We actually have to have the small inside here. Highlight this first column. Control Shift Down Arrow F4, comma, and we need rows. So the uh, small needs to know first, second, third, fourth. I'm in D2, so I'm going to type D dollar sign 2, colon D2. All right, so that's our little K, right? The rows. I close parentheses on that. Whoops. Notice I close parentheses and watch what happens to the screen tip. It gets back to VLOOKUP. So that whole little small rows is, VLOO is the lookup value, comma, the table. Control Shift Down Arrow F4, comma the column index. It's always going to be two, comma, and it's exact match. So we do a zero. Control Enter, and then we'll copy it down. I'm going to copy it down 30 rows. Notice the screen tip doesn't come up this time like last video. All right, so now we have um, highlighted our column of 30 randomly extracted names. Now, what you do is you make a rule. Um, it, let's say you're going to do continual samples every couple weeks or something. You come in, your rule is I randomize five times, and then I copy, paste special value. So one, two, three, four, five. Control C. That was five times on the F9 key. You come over. Now, there's a couple ways we can paste special values, right? You could go up to Home and use this. But here's another great one also. If I come here, the right click key. <clears throat> now, the right click key is between the window and control. But if you right click V, you uh, can paste special values. Now, notice it, it randomized between there and here. But if you're paste special values, that's a great keyboard shortcut. Uh, window key V. All right, so in this video, we saw how to create a formula using VLOOKUP, small, and rows to extract a simple random sample from a list of population data. All right, see you next trick.